Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, this is Abdul Shaheed from Islamic Life Mastery, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get motivated and stay motivated. Right, the motivation is one of the key factors to the success of any person. Like, you cannot achieve success in your life, whatever it is that you're trying to do well at, whether it's your whether it's your schooling, whether it's your work, whether it's your career, whether it's your business, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And the thing that affects your plan the most is your level of motivation. Like one of the things I have, uh, one of the things I've encountered uh, myself in my own life and at the same time with uh, the people that I, I, I speak to is that, you know, motivation is up and down. Like it wanes. Sometimes it's really strong. Sometimes it's really, uh, it's really weak. And uh, how how I think about it sometimes is like it's like a battery. Like when your battery is fully charged, you are fully motivated. You are fully motivated, and you're energetic, and you can get a lot done. And all of a sudden, after like five hours of going, like your motivation starts to wane, and you start to get distracted, and you're not so motivated anymore. And we we're thinking to ourselves, you know, I'm losing motivation. But actually, you're not losing motivation. What's happening is that you're running out of energy. So what we're considering motivation here is actually a lack of energy. So when your energy is high, then you're more motivated. When your energy is low, then you're less motivated. Now, how can you plan for that? Um, like I know like this is something that I, uh, I've struggled with myself. Um, for like many years and uh, and I'm always trying to improve on this and what I've come to realize is that ultimately for me to be like fully motivated fully ready to go out and get a lot done the things that I, I, I plan for my days and weeks and months um, I have to have a level of energy so it's not really motivation so I'm, I've been focusing on motivation how do I get more motivated but, but really I was missing the point like what I needed to do was focus on my energy. So if you are energized, if you're like Islamic life mastery is all about life, every aspect of life. So the aspect of life that you need to be focused on here is and, and there's more to motivation than this. But like um, your energy is key It is number one. If you don't have the level of energy that you need to do to achieve the things that you are trying to achieve in your life, whether it be just getting through the day and having a great successful day where you uh, feel as though you've done a lot in that day, whether it's um, you know setting up your business and make and taking it to the next level, whether it's your education and you've been studying hard but like after so many hours you you become uh, distracted and you can't focus anymore like every one of those things is related to energy and we often mistranslate that as a lack of motivation but if you are if you think about it when you are fully energized you're motivated and you're more productive now i'm not saying that every single one of you has an issue of energy but if you if you solve that problem, then uh, you'll find many a times you'll find like many times I found myself that my problem was not a lack of motivation. It was a lack of energy. So in order to resolve that, uh, you have like, like only one solution. Eat good food and exercise. That's it. Like I know the exercise, it sounds like uh, when, when you say this, not everyone, uh, like, it, it sounds like it's too much work. But the thing is, you don't have to do a lot of work. Literally, it could be like a 15-minute, like a periodic 15-minute, like, uh, you know, like doing burpees or like whatever it is that you like doing. But you're doing some form of exercise, some moving, like exercise meaning movement, like, like, like that movement energizes you. That movement is what gives you the ability to, um, like, it, it it forces your body to release uh, the chemicals that you require to be more energized, to be more happy, in fact. So if you are doing the movement, but you're eating rubbish food, then you have a problem. Or if you're eating good food, but you're not moving enough, then you also have a problem. So it needs to be a combination of the two. Like if you get these two right, like ultimately, like you will be much more energized and you will be able to do much more. And of course, with 
you know, as with life, like you can't be consistent in everything. And so you have to accept that you're not always going to be fully energized. You have to accept that, you know, there are times when you're not going to be energized and there are times when you will be fully energized. So you have to know and think about and pre-plan what you will do at the times that you are fully energized. So like, I will do my most productive actions or i will do the most like the things that i want to achieve the most i will do them when i am most energized and then i don't have the excuse of i haven't got motivation i have got motivation because i made these plans because i'm motivated to get these things in my life but in order for them to happen i have to do it at the most optimum time so I mean, there's a lot more to motivation. Inshallah, I'm going to be talking about motivation in the coming videos. Um, I'm going to talk about the different uh, techniques and the different uh, tricks that you can use to really optimize your life. But ultimately, like you cannot do anything unless you become energized. And energy is the key factor here. It's not motivation. Like uh, when you come back from work late, and you want to do something um, in the evening, and you planned to do something important in the evening, but you come back and you're just you're just knackered, and you can't, you can't be bothered to sit down and do what it was that you'd planned because you just want to rest. Like your mind needs to rest. You may physically not be exhausted, but your mind is exhausted. So you need to do those things. Like you need to reschedule those. You don't. It's not like uh, you've done something wrong. Like that you have a lack of motivation in the evenings. No. Like what you need to do is you need to allocate a time for that when you are more energized so if if you are more energized early in the morning then fit it in early in the morning like wake up like half an hour earlier you don't have to make it like three hours earlier wake up half an hour earlier the key is get started but getting started at the right time is essential not get, getting started at the wrong time. Getting started at the wrong time means that you will not get what you want. So anyway, like uh, I'm rambling on here. So the key to today's lesson is uh, energy. Energy equals motivation. No energy, no motivation. So I'll leave you with that. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.